Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my back again wife, Laura. And I'm here with my childhood snack husband, Nathan. And we're here for In a Biscuit Biscuits. They're back as a special edition. At least two flavours. Yes. I believe there was more. But... So, um, I didn't have these much when I was growing up, but Laura did. Mm -hmm. They're... I suppose they're similar to like a, a shape. A, like an Arnott's Shapes biscuit. Or a goldfish. Or... No. They look like goldfish. <laughs> they don't taste like them from memory. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is something that I, I believe was cheaper than Arnott's Shapes when I was younger. And so like we would buy these if like Shapes weren't on special and we needed biscuits or something. Um, so I remember these fondly. I always enjoyed them. But I thought they disappeared off shelves a really long time ago, like, you know, back when I was maybe like a teenager or something. But apparently they haven't actually been gone anywhere near that long. You say, you think about 2016? I, I read it somewhere and I, I, then I forgot. <laughs> so maybe, it was so maybe I'll put it up on the screen. In, in Victoria, I don't know. But here's sure. the question I want to know. What's the difference between chicken flavour and drumstick flavour? Yes. I don't know. I'm not quite sure which flavour I would have had as a kid either. I just remember in a biscuit. These were at Woolworths and at the time of filming this, there's still a stock issue with them. They're sold out yeah. everywhere. There's been a huge rush for these and for tubes, which are also back. Yeah, um, not sure we'll be reviewing those for anyone who is wondering. The tubes, that is. I don't have any connection with tubes whatsoever. So I wouldn't be able to let anyone know if I felt like they were the same or different. I or... just thought they tasted like a cheaper, um, like... Cheesel or something, if I recall. It's been a while since I've had them. I'm not even sure I've had them. Hey, look, it's flavour you can see. Oh, wait, wrong product. <laughs> yeah, you can see it, though. And they're a really good-sized biscuit. They have a pretty different consistency to Arnott Shapes. I think they're memory. softer, aren't they? Mm. They sort of melt more in your mouth. Than they're, not... they're not as, like, hard. Mm. They're a bit more fall apart. Yeah, they mm -hmm. taste quite a bit different than a shape would. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that sort of consistency in the flavour. It's a very familiar flavour. I mean, it's been a long time since I've had them. I didn't, I certainly wasn't still buying them, like, at the point where they just disappeared off shelves. But for me, it, it seems familiar. So I would say it's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's, um, it, the biscuit you bite into it, it sort of softens very quickly. It's not like a mush, but it's a it's lot. Closer to a Ritz cracker consistency. Yeah. Mm. The More flavor. buttery and crumbly. I mean, is it chicken? It's hard to tell you. I just taste a lot of biscuit. It's very much like a, um, sorry to refer to shapes again, but they're chicken crimpy flavour. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But, sadly, I do prefer the same flavour on the shapes with the consistency of the Arnott Shapes chicken crimpy biscuit better than these. Not that these are bad, but just that's just a personal preference. Yeah, they, they're hmm, not my favourite. They're okay. I, I, apparently, there are a lot of people miss them quite a lot. I like them. Very nostalgic as well. Um, I was just turning this around to see if there was anything... Well, it's alive with flavour, so that's maybe good or bad. They're oven-baked. And yeah, nothing, nothing to them. describe the drumsticks flavour versus the chicken. Uh, yeah. Alright. Pop her open. Let's see how different they are to the chicken flavour. I wonder if our kids will like them. They haven't had them either. No. no. They weren't even... Most, one of them wasn't even born. No, I think they disappeared before they were born. Yep. Expected shape. What do they smell like? They don't smell like much. Biscuit. Yeah. You'd <laughs> try, expect, like, considering biscuit. how much flavouring they've got in them, they'd... Mm. Just want to get a couple in your mouth at once to see the flavour, I think. I do remember the flavour, but I'm not... Maybe this isn't a flavour I had as much as, like, the chicken. It's a bit less flavoursome. Yeah. And the shape of them, because I reckon they're a bit larger because they're a bit more thicker. They got a lot more just plain biscuit flavour. Mm, mm -hmm. I think the biscuit's a little bit more savoury. It kind of has a mild nod to that flavour. But it's more about the biscuit. Um, well, I've got to be mm. honest... Without having had these when I grew up, I don't see why everyone really wanted these back. <laughs> they're not bad, but there's so many biscuits and crackers out there these days. Mm. I mean... Mm. I just had a, a memory as you were talking about using these with dip. Yeah. 
they're pretty solid. You can probably get a good dip out of them. Yeah, um, they they stay together pretty well, and they're kind of a spoon shaped, so you can you can you know you kind of get a nice bit of dip. Maybe that's why I don't remember this flavor as well because, because you get dipping it in things. This is a yeah a flavor we bought with dip. So I like them both, and I think if you have the nostalgic memories that I do. I say go and have some more yep. while they're out, because so, I don't know how long they'll be here. But if you didn't have any of that connection, and you want to try them, they're nothing special. I don't think, in my opinion. I, I don't think there's anything that puts it above mm. other shapes or anything. You've just infuriated everyone who remembers them fondly. Well, three people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I think they're nice. I, I, I would say they're pretty accurate to what they used to be. But again, I could be skewed by my memories of eating these ones with dip. Who makes them? Yes. Mondellas. Uh, Great. I know who that is too. I don't. Mm. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, let us know in the comment section down below your fondest memory of Inner Biscuit Biscuits. Or, what other flavours were there? You said there were other flavours, I'm pretty right? sure there were others, yeah. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Monday and Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.